In this video, we will uh, see the example of where this linear regression and logistic regression is used, but we will see only the linear regression in the paper. So, let us look at this paper, uh, how learning artists can early predict underachieving students in blended medical education course. Um, it is hard to find a paper which explains linear regression in much detail in 2017 or the recently because linear regression has been in the uh, used in education field for a long time. But since the authors might be using it for first time and it is in the medical education course, they explained in detail. So, this is a good paper to look at it to understand how linear regression. But I do not recommend you writing a paper in a such a detail because uh, everyone now knows what is linear regression and they are looking for the response or the metrics, not the intercept values, the each weights and everything. But this paper is explained. Let us look at this paper. Is the paper, uh, it is how learning analytics can early predict underachieving students in a blended medical education course. So, in this paper, um, they want to predict that uh, students who are at risk, uh, who are going to like uh, uh, final score is below uh, 65 percentage. Okay. So, potentially safe is safe students who have final score more than 60 percentage, the final score in 55 will be considered as at risk students. How to predict the students uh, who are uh, going to get less than 65 marks in the final score that is the at risk. So, there are 145 students, uh, however, the data is excluded many. So, they have only 133 students over the period of 6 weeks. Okay. So, what is the data they are collecting? Uh, the data they collected is in the blended learning approach that is uh, they use MOOC and classroom. The data they collected is um, okay. the data they collected is login uh, like a weekly mid course, total course logins, how many times he, he logs in a week in a mid course how many times you logged in before the mid same, how many times total login times and login before and after the end course of the exam like uh, did the student really want to uh, understand it after the end same something also. Also views uh, like a number of views daily, weekly and mid same uh, till mid course. Also total course views, number of unique resource accessed, number of unique uh, resource means how many resources he looked at it, how many papers he read, how many uh, videos he watched everything and uh, the data type of resources he accessed. Also the forums like uh, number of uh, posts created, uh, reads, replies, number of edits made in the course be, uh, like uh, and uh, also how influential this particular uh, post he created based on number of people replied to that post. Okay? And the time he spent on each of these sessions like uh, weekly, mid some overall time on this particular uh, learning environment. Also, the grades at each formative assessment and participation in assessment regardless of submission of the answers. Whether the student submit the answer or not, if he participated in the quiz or the, the pop-up questions in the video, if he answers those questions, this is also considered as a formative assessment, okay, not the NSM score. So, they took all this in a multiple things like uh, if you see the uh, login can be classified into total login, number of login in first half and second half if you combine the bit lost total post, total post by student, all these multiple features has been created. They computed a correlation with the final score. Okay? So, this you can compute using the correlation matrix, so you know how to compute it now. Or uh, they computed each one individually and also they identified whether this is significant value or not because uh, there are 133 students, we know whether this correlation is significant or not. Significant is not telling the strength of the correlation. Significant tells that whether this correlation is reliable or not, whether this part 2 9 is correct or not. Significant does not mean this correlation is high or not. That is a very important thing we have to understand. So, what they do, they see this 0.29, this 2 star is significant by 0 0.01, okay, 0 0.01 level, yes. Here. Uh, so, all of them are like average correlation, not really good, maybe this is good correlation, number of times you log in and uh, the assessment grade is a very good correlation with uh, the final scores, yes. Uh, as expected assessment is really uh, high correlated with the final score based on the performance in the uh, quizzes uh, or mid term assessment grade and formative grades. 
So, what they did they combined these future values again they split given to a 6 uh, variables look just look at it they made it into a 6 parameters of engagement. Uh, see the login indicators, sub format assessment, posting, time, course views and total unique days. They made into a 6 uh, variables x1, x2, x3, x4, 2, x6 and uh, that is a value. And they used uh, uh, SPSS software for automated uh, linear modeling uh, that they called as ALM here, but uh, I, I or SPSS is the proprietary software, I do not recommend using that. But, uh, if you have access to SPSS 19, please go ahead and use it. But uh, they used SPSS uh, and uh, they are reporting the values here. Let us look at the values. So, the final grade uh, is the, the, the value is here and the actual final grade is given in this, um, given in this uh, dots, but the regression scale is like this. So, this is the difference between final grade and the predicted value. So, also they are giving the uh, weight of each of the x1. They can simply give y equal to x1, x2, y1 with the equation, but uh, I, as I mentioned this is the paper which explains very detailly about linear regression which is not needed for um, current setting because everyone knows what is this. So, but yeah, see the weight 0 0.16, uh, 0 0.1 and format assessment is 0 0.10. So, there is a uh, like a weight of each of these uh, variables and intercept is not given and that is a problem you know intercept is not given we do not know what is the value, but we do not want to interpret the intercept. So, we want to interpret only this value. So, login is the most uh, strong indicator of the performance in the end sum. So, uh, they computed uh, the students uh, performance uh, tricks uh, students and uh, they also used the logistic regression to do that. And, uh, and they also plotted our um, uh, predicted using logistic regression, predicted using a linear model and uh, predicted using logistic regression at the mid course. Uh, mid course is uh, if you can early predict, you no need to wait till the students uh, all the number of activities post till the end sum. If can I use only the first semester interactions, can you predict it? If you use the mid sum, so you know you see this. Um, I hope you know what is this line means. Uh, this line indicates area under curve is like a 0.5 and uh, this is average you know this is the average below S is not good. This particular curve indicates how early predict you can predict and this is the best you know predicting using logistic regression gives the better uh, you know better uh, classification accuracy precision and uh, in terms of precision and recall compared to the linear regression. So, that is important. So, uh, this paper discusses what we learned uh, in general about um, uh, uh, ROC curve, area under curve and also logistic regression and integration. Please go and uh, read this paper, explains how to collect data, how to collect features and how to use those features to predict the final map score. So, you saw the uh, what is linear regression, also the logistic regression. Can you list down one or two applications of linear regression using data collected from classroom environment. The paper we discussed in a previous uh, uh, previous slide uh, that we just discussed now is uh, applying uh, linear regression on a blended learning that is a student is interacting with the MOOC kind of environment where they have to log in, watch videos, read things, post in a discussion forums uh, in a Moodle something like that. Can you think of application of using linear regression in a classroom environment and uh, which data you can collect. So, list down the your answers and resume to continue. So, I am not answering any uh, uh, answers here because uh, there are a lot of things can uh, be predicted. I also discussed about that we cut the starting of this week's course. You can predict students performance, uh, students engagement, you can also use the students engagement in the class like a mid sem attendance to predict the performance, lot of things. If you listed down something else it is good, uh, if you can access this data you can go and collect the data, please go ahead and collect data and uh, see which one works. In this week uh, we discussed only linear and logistic question not in detail, uh, this week is kind of uh, less on um, uh, new learning, but uh, I request you to go and explore the tools uh, uh, demo to you and uh, use linear regression, logistic regression, collect data and use uh, existing data, go and check for internet in the data use the data and try to uh, apply and understand. 
So, that is application of linear regression. Thank you.